god, that What's was up, folks? Yeah, Commander Sol here, and welcome back to Stellaris Red vs. Blue. I'm just going to get the Collective Self technology and the Rite of Conquest tradition, and then we'll get right back into this. The galaxy is looking much more even now. Well, a bit more even. With the introduction of Newt to the blue team. And we will be just building up our fleets and are probably ready for a war which will be starting at some point. Already everything new has, has been doubled. Planets, technology, population. Huh. Meanwhile, I'm just getting annoyed because I thought I got an anomaly for the... Well, there's that next battleship built. Ooh, lovely. That's such a powerful fleet now. 17,000. Oh, I just realised I need to build a border on mine. Except I can't really. Survey complete. What? I should build a border post for um, Newt. Except there's three systems into my space on his one. Oh. Yeah. All of someone's leaders are dying. This is the Machine Empire. Wait, what? No, someone isn't a machine empire. Oh, All of his leaders are dying, though. Let's see how powerful his fleet is. Why has he not merged them? And they're only destroyers and corvettes? Which one? Someone. He only has destroyers and corvettes in his fleet. Oh, hello. Um, Strikeforce Basilisk, or aka the Federation fleet, has one battleship. Ah, well, at least we now we know what Pluto's been doing. He spent the entire video, and the only thing he can build is a battleship. Lolush class. Tier 4 weapons. Oh, they now have tier 2 plasma accelerators somewhere. That's the auto generated design. It's gotta be. Shield, negative shield damage? Wow, that's a lot of negative shield damage. Alright, time to put emphasis on shields. Yeah, but it All also right, has a lot of. Also, it has large kinetic weapons, though. Some. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, advanced railguns. Oh, yeah. That's just a battleship. Yeah. Actually, no. His cruisers are not upgraded yet. Uh, rivalry declared. I'm going to declare uh, rivalry uh, on uh, Little Oak. Nope. Okay. Oh, no. We're already a rivalry. Haha. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I might become an extinct precursor in a future game. You probably will at the current rate, someone. Oof. Then. Oh, they closed borders to me. Darn. It's almost as if they knew exactly what I was saying. Survey complete. Aradros, I quite like that comment on... um. A uh, Erassians 2.0, because weren't they wiped out by a virus? Yep. That would be quite funny. Ah, dang it, no anomaly there. I am disappointed. Science ships, what are you doing? You're supposed to be finding anomalies. Well, they're evidently failing. I have you to find anomalies, not sit around and discover you above those planets. <sighs> oh well. Slowly getting more and more disappointed. Oh yeah, by the way, I researched the research institute, so enjoy. I don't think it does anything to us. No, An enigmatic I mean, it guest. It will give you a tech boost into um how do you call it? Yeah. Eight months. Yeah, sure, do it. Oh, An insult like from the pricky T. That's the first one this episode. Oh, Which are the Vika's surrendered moves? I think none. Uh, none of them surrendered. The Utah, the Ute Empire was uh, badly... They didn't have very good weapons, but none of them surrendered. Although the Cybrex did sort of give up at the end, didn't they? Mm, I wouldn't consider that a surrender. I call it a war war. Survey complete. I still haven't researched tier 1 physics labs. I love how my beating middle <laughs> finger is in the shape of a beating middle finger. Haha. <laughs> That's good. So, are we going I to do a war this time? Yes, I plan to do a war against someone. 
I mean, not someone new to cut off the head before it becomes a problem. Yeah. Is, uh, has new set up his... Oh, uh, well, before we do this, like I'm probably going to... Actually, no, let's not worry about it. I'll just attack Lidloke. I'm not going to make any claims um, on him or anything. I'll just attack him. Starve... Uh, although we do like to starve. Starving is fun, says Undead. Actually, um... Actually, I don't, I don't really care about new. It'll take ages until he, um... What's it called? It gets it becomes a problem. Did I claim Waterproof? We could probably we should probably kill the Pricky T. Oh, uh, I can do that when I get bored. <laughs> uh, do we the Pricky T decide they to join the operation? They build and they have ten k. No, they have seven k. They have barely eight. Oh yeah, the that. You should just wipe them out before they do become a problem, because they will eventually become a problem. I don't think they will. They won't have the economic base to become a problem. Well, they can't be doing too badly, because they have started building destroyers. They were you know, getting rid of corvettes to do that. Uh, let's see, how good am I compared to their defense force? Yeah, my, I think my fleet should be easily able to structure. Well, there goes a 10th Federation cruiser being built. Uh, the Yu got wiped out. Oh, don't commit this cultural suicide. Yeah. Um, not really. I wouldn't say cultural suicide, more like we just found... Like, it was a cultural suicide. It was a cultural suicide, because they thought that they were lived in virtual reality, and that by ending their existence, they would be able to uh, go to a higher plane or something? It was weird. <laughs> I just need to be sufficient to crash this information. Yeah. Can I make more claims? Yeah, I can. Well, I'll make more claims when I have more influence. I don't. I have oh, enough influence so to probably claim the entirety of Little Oak's empire. Commander Sol, how long is it until the end of the session? Um, another quarter of an hour, but that's it. Alright. I just realized that his ships in the other fleet tier 2 plasma. Right. And what do I have? Tier 5 shields. Actually, tier 4 shield. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I not upgrade them with my ship designer? Because I thought I specifically remembered I have tier 5 shields. Um, my battleships are so good. Do you, does any one of you guys have tier 5 shields? Um, no. I don't think so. Let's check my normal fleet. I do. No, I have tier 4 <laughs> shields. Um, Somebody in our federation has tier 5 shields, but I don't know who it is. It's me. Ah, right. Have you upgraded your armor tech? It's at level 4. Right. It's better than mine, because I don't have no trouble. Mine is level 4. Same. Alright, let's see the let's see the player standings right now. First off is the current rankings of empires is Defending Storm with the lead. I'm in second, and then Arias is in third. Romulans are the fourth. Interesting. Frost is stronger than. Frost has go. got a big fleet now. Yeah, he does. Twenty-two thousand. Oh, battleships. He has battleships. Those are actually good he, battleships. Yeah. He designed those. Where is Frost? Yeah, Frost is probably That's a 22,000 fleet power fleet. That's pretty good. You know what would be really, really unfortunate? What? What? Ew. Uh oh. Ah, boy, what have you done? Uh oh. I did, I, I did nothing. I think I know where this is going, but I'm not certain. Special project complete. Um. Yeah, it's probably, probably. Uh, I betray you, and then I declare war on you, or I join blue team. No. no? Okay. My trick. Uh, okay.
Okay, this is strange. And did their rival with the Blorians? I think this is going towards a betrayal. Well, this is interesting, guys. It looks like impending storms decided he's going to betray the glory of the red team. Despicable. What? He's joined the blue team. We have yeah, been betrayed. I knew it. I knew it. Great. Yeah, we're gonna have to end pretty soon. This is going to be interesting. And not in a good way. I give up. You give up? I cannot win. How can you not win? Seriously, how can you not win, Valria? He has no way into your empire. Except from through Border Post Alpha. Your fleet is 13k. That Add that to the station, which is another 10k. That's 23,000 fleet power. That's more than he has. He can go to around Frost. Uh, where's Frost? Where does Frost go? Frost has no connection to you. He can go to somewhere. Yeah, the other wall. Ah. Can go to there, go to Lauren, reinforce them again. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah, you're going to need to upgrade the other wall. Okay, don't worry, because we're going to probably beat up Lidloke pretty quickly. And when I say pretty quickly, I mean very, very quickly. As in, I'm going to turn him into my tributary as soon as I have the next tradition. Gary's gonna declare war on you. It is 32. 30 what? Yeah. yeah. I did try to warn you, he did he did have a very strong. That's lead. uh wait. What are you sure I was gonna do it with 20k? I thought you only had 20k. No. He was probably hiding the fleet from anyone. Uh they're all torpedo corvettes as well. On my own, I could destroy that. I am physically able to destroy that fleet on my own. But it would be hard. It would be very hard. I don't need to catch it, I just need to stop it from going in the direction. Uh, this is a problem. Uh, let's say no wars this session because we have to end in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, I was planning on letting it be a cliffhanger. Uh, brilliant. This is going to be fun. So Newt has returned. It's now 5v7. 4v7. Because Re Revan isn't here. Yep. And not to mention, they two now have the two strongest players in the entire game. Yeah. And not only that, I'm going to become fully robot. Uh, Wait, you're still in the, you're still in our VC mod. Okay, undead power. Biggeth Dicketh, apparently, for some reason. Okay, uh, I don't see the point of doing that, but okay. What he does in his spare time is up to him. Just right. I'm going to mind. contact uh, General Pluto now and tell him we need to end. So, uh, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Commander Soul, over and out. Great. I was planning to do it with the opening of the L cluster. I see. I thought you were going to expose me when you noticed about the dark matter. Yeah. Wait, I, I clicked the end button and it didn't register. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.